Today is Wednesday, September 28th. I can't even believe I'm saying that. Um, and my lawn is still in dire straits. Oh my goodness, this was the worst summer ever for the lawn. Um, so as I walk by, I'm sure you spotted that. I'm choosing to not look at it. Anyway, um, I came back to water everything and I'm just so excited by the progress of a few things that I wanted to share it with you. So uh, let's have a look and see what's going on. Here's my lettuce. Oh my goodness. I think I started this on August 9th inside. I made a video about that. Um, and then um, I just, I'm just shocked at how well it's doing. I've, I've had such good germination. Um, you can even see that like the Pharrell and Schluss and the spotty or fleshy butter gem uh, has taken on its color. Um, all of the Merlots, uh, the red lettuces, there's so many varieties here. I'm so pleased that it's doing so well. It's almost time to start harvesting microgreens. And um, look at the color of it. Oh my goodness. There's some here, well, there's a lot actually that I have have not tried these varieties yet, but um, soon enough our salad will be full of it. And I think this is going to hold on for quite a while. I, I bought some, uh, some little mini, they're not greenhouses, but they're just little tiny little coverings that you can put over small beds um, and little enclosures to keep everything protected from frost. So I'll be adding those over here once the temperature really starts to drop. And I'll, I'll show you some video of that when we have those up. Oh, I'm so excited. We have some kale trying to grow, but you can see that we have a combination of some sort of a cutworm. Um, I've also noticed the locust are back here. Um, this is a Toscano kale, which isn't doing too bad, um, but nonetheless, you can see something is eating it. And my brassicas are actually, they're, they're holding their own. I have some, um, this is the cauliflower right here. Um, and I had a few broccolis on this side, but yeah, they're really not here anymore. Something had their way, had its way with that. Uh, this here is a broccoli though. This is the DiCicco, D-I-C-I-C-C-O or something I think it's spelled. So this is actually looking pretty good. Um, the purple stems are red rubine, um, Brussels sprouts, tiny beads of water on there. And we have some green Brussels sprouts in there and the Le uh, leafy bits with the pink stems is the red Sichuan radish so I'm pretty excited to see that come up and um, you know I'm, I'm hoping that we're actually going to be able to harvest some food from this brassica bed um, only time will tell I guess right <laughs> Hopefully, um, someone that's watching has built a like DIY level greenhouse. Um, not from, you know, not, not a custom design DIY thing, which we've been watching plenty of those on YouTube. Um, we're, you know, we're not overly experienced in building things. Um, we've seen a lot of plans online as far as how to do a total custom build of a greenhouse. But I, honestly, I'm just a little intimidated by the whole entire process. Um, we get such big winds here in this, in this yard. I'm afraid to get a, an all green, or an all glass greenhouse for several reasons and I'll tell you why. Um, we have south, southwest exposure here. So our yard being the microclimate that it is, is always so hot out here. Um, even in the winter, the snow just melts away very, very quickly, and it's always a lot warmer in the yard than it is out front. So I think that an all glass greenhouse would be 
too much glass for us to grow really anything in the summer. So if we did all glass, it would be, you know, that would work probably good for our winter stuff. So I've been looking at these greenhouses that are like DIY kits. One of them is by Little Cottage Company and it has a polycarbonate roof. It's a double, double panel polycarbonate roof and it has three window walls that are functioning windows and then it has a Dutch door. And uh, my heart's a pitter patter for this greenhouse. I can just see it in my yard, all painted bright white with its beautiful shelves inside and all full of my seedlings growing. And I have a whole like destination around it, planting, you know, moving my strawberries over there and I want ornamental things. And anyway, um, I'm wondering if any of you guys that are watching have built any type of greenhouse. Another option I'm looking at is something uh, that Costco carries online, a product from a maker called Yardistry. They also do their pergolas that they sell that they usually have in stock there. I have not seen this greenhouse in person, but it's like just under seven feet by just under eight feet and it's cedar and um, it looks like it could work. And there's a couple things that I'm shying away from with it. And one of them is that it has the automatic vent on the roof that works, I think, from beeswax or something. Um, but this is would be my first experience with a greenhouse, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, and the reason that I don't, you know, I like that option of it opening by itself to cool things off, but if we get a bad storm and it's open, I'm worried that we would get, you know, like wind and rain in there and that it could possibly make it explode because of the force of the wind we get here. Um, so I don't want wind damage. Um, so I'm looking for the option to be able to override that automatic hinge opener. So if any of you out there um, have any input about the Yardistry greenhouse, the Little Cottage Company greenhouses, and even the Pal Ram. So if there's like a product that you guys could recommend that we could consider, you know, it's just me and my husband. We really don't have a, a whole lot of people that would be able to come be available to you know get this thing off of a truck and that's part of the problem it's not even really the construction of it it's receiving the delivery oh oh check this out Of equipment failure so I just did this whole segment where I was talking about greenhouses and my camera was not recording so anyway you guys what I was asking was about any um, greenhouses that you could recommend I don't even know where I left off in the conversation um, I'm looking at the yardistry product from Costco um, that is a little under seven feet by a little under eight feet it's a little small for what we want um, we were hoping for a minimum of eight by 12, but the product from uh, the Little Cottage Company comes as a kit, but some of the sections are over 150 pounds a piece. And they said that the truck that delivers it to you doesn't always have a lift gate. They give you some warning that it's coming, but they don't really give you a time. And they want two to three strong people available to accept the pieces off of the truck as they're being handed to you. And it's like, I, I don't have people that can just stand around and wait for a truck to come from who knows where um, to receive pieces. And I mean, that's just a little bit too much for, for, for John and I to do. I mean, he's strong enough to handle, you know, his, his part of it, but I am not. So um, I am not, I am not, and that's all there is to that. But anyway, um, there's also a company called Lap Structures out in Pennsylvania. And they have a beautiful shed kit or greenhouse kit and it's a polycarbonate roof and it actually has three walls of windows that function and a beautiful Dutch door. It's just like the one from a uh, little cottage company. Um, but we can't have it delivered pre-assembled um, because even if we took sections of fence down, we have all this landscaping here. So we need it assembled on site and they would do that with that model, but they want 40% markup on, on top of it to assemble it, plus delivery. Now, um, I don't mind paying people good money for good work, but the greenhouse we're looking at is 
close to ten thousand dollars so I would have to pay five thousand dollars to have that assembled and that just seems a little bit expensive to me but I don't really know um, so maybe you guys can give me some input if you have any opinion on um, you know what is a good rate to have something like that built on site um, you know any any little greenhouse companies that are kits that you could recommend to me so that we can get something going here because I do have this whole entire area here uh, I have a whole vision for it so um, you know the longer we wait the longer I don't have the greenhouse and it's getting frustrating now because we've been talking about it for some time and I don't want to be in a position again where it's springtime and I realized that I, I never got my greenhouse. So, Mr. Buddy, do you want a greenhouse? You want a greenhouse, pal? You do? So, anyway, guys, um, please make some comments about greenhouses. Please make some comments about what you think would be eating my spinach and why the spinach is doing so much better in a bed where zucchini was growing. I don't really understand. So I look forward to your comments. And as always, we are so grateful for anyone who is subscribing. If you stayed in this video with me this long and you haven't subscribed yet, I wish you would consider doing so. Please hit the notification bell and um, stay tuned for progress. And I'll see you in the next video.